If you're watching this, chances are you've started thinking about solar for your home in New Zealand. Taking time to consider your goals will help guide the design and installation of your solar system, ensuring it's tailored to your needs. So let's break down the top five things to consider when installing solar. First up, how do you use energy in the home? It's good to dig out a recent electricity bill or perhaps use your energy retailer's app to better understand your usage. Things to consider include how much electricity do you use in total and when do you use it? Are you generally home during the day or do you mostly use power at night? Do you have seasonal patterns like using heat pumps a lot in the winter or are there spikes in summer where your aircon comes on? It's good to consider the future too. Perhaps you're considering changing your diesel boiler or gas hot water to electric. These sound like simple questions, but understanding how you use power and how you want to will influence your solar design. The second thing you'll need to consider is your roof. North facing is generally ideal for solar. However, modern panels are efficient enough that east and west facing roofs perform really well. Roof pitch plays a part. A steep roof will catch more winter sun when the sun is lower in the sky, while a flatter pitch tends to soak up more summer energy. Getting a balance of both is usually what works best. Another element is how shading affects performance. It's best avoiding trees or chimneys and choosing roof space that isn't affected by shade. If there isn't suitable roof space on your property, you can consider other options, a ground mounted solar array or perhaps putting solar panels on a carport. Your goal should be to design and install a solar system that meets your performance and aesthetic needs. Next up is the components of your system. It's important that they're tried and tested and built to last. An investment in solar takes a few years to pay off, so it's vital to install products that you can rely on. It's good to consider how long a product has been in market. Do they have a New Zealand based office for support? And is their warranty reliable? Whether it's a solar panel, inverter, EV charger or battery, make sure you feel confident your investment will last you for years to come. Next up to consider is batteries. Batteries store excess solar generated in the day to be used at night. They especially stack up when you use a lot of power in the evening or if you're concerned about power cuts. Storing excess power can be worth up to three times more to you than selling excess solar back to the grid. If you want the power to stay on in a power cut, batteries are a must. However, they do add more cost. Installing one from the start can be cheaper than a staged approach. A good installer will walk you through all the options to help you find the best solution. At the end of the day, it's about trust. Who designs, installs, and supports your solar system really matters. You should look out for Local Experience, a company that can respond quickly and has a proven track record and reputation in the area. Transparency, a good installer will listen to your needs and explain the why behind every decision. Customised designs, avoid one size fits all quotes. Good design is about matching the system to your usage patterns and your goals. In-house installers. Subcontractors can often rush a project on a day rate or be hard to contact if an issue occurs. An in-house team is more likely to provide a great experience. Strong aftercare. Solar's a 25 to 30 year journey. You want someone who'll be there in year 10, not just day one. Choose someone you're confident will design a system that suits your needs. Install it with care on your home and be there for you in the future if you need support. A solar system works best when tailored around your needs. A system designed around your home, your family, and what's important to you. Choose an installer that you trust, someone that listens first and offers solutions second. And don't be afraid to ask lots of questions. It will help you both in the long run. If you're ready to get started or just want some advice, feel free to get in touch with one of our local teams.